When I was a kid, I wanted to visit Africa to enjoy the natural beauty and culture. Thank you, Sony and National Geographic. My dreams have been answered half-heartedly. This game is Africa with a K, and also humorously called Hakuna Matata in other regions. So this game is a photography simulator where you play as a photographer in Africa who takes pictures of animals from magazines. Your clients will send you email requests of which animals they want pictures of. So for the first section of the game, there is a lot of restriction as your guide drives you around to specific locations. It doesn't make for a great tutorial since the game handholds too much. After a while, the game gives you full control of the vehicle so you can drive around the open maps, but at first it feels like there is too much freedom in little direction, so I suddenly regret wanting it so badly. Almost as if the game got fed up with my complaining, took off the leash and stopped giving a crap. The controls are pretty bad since they feel so stiff, either on foot or driving, so it just feels like I'm fighting with them the entire time. So, about the photography? You travel around five locations and carefully approach animals as to not scare them away or provoke them into attacking you. The cameras are all licensed Sony products, of course, and they function as you'd expect. You get rewarded on how well the target is photographed as well as your technique. Sometimes you'll need to photograph an animal doing a specific action such as a hippo yawning or a meerkat standing upright, and that can be tricky. In a better photography game like Zoo Tycoon 2, I had a better understanding of when the animals were about to perform the desired action and how to trigger it, but here, there is no such help. I know it succeeds as a simulation, but it doesn't excuse how boring it can become. As you progress, you can buy new equipment that adds some new variety to the mix, but a lot of them feel a little bit underused. I will say that the visuals are very lovely, especially the sunsets, but all of the lush, grassy terrain that we were seemingly promised in the trailer has mostly been traded in for a very flat-looking landscape. That might sound minor, but if you're driving around on it constantly, the least you can do is give us something a little bit more lively to look at. The animals are also cool to see, but the frame rate can get a little choppy with them at times. When you document a new animal, you can read a small section of facts about it in the field guide. That's where it could have been educational, but I feel like even that was half-hearted. However, the game briefly comes alive during the big game hunts, which are kind of like photography boss battles. Here, you need to take pictures of an exciting event such as a cheetah bringing down a gazelle. They're pretty cool to watch, and it's one of the few points in the game that made me feel accomplished. I definitely approach this game with an open mind, and I do accept it for the type of game that it is. I just think that it really needed a lot of technical improvements. So, if you're into photography and gaming, it sounds like an odd combination, but I think some people will enjoy it in short bursts. But otherwise, I'd say it's a definite skip.